This is Step Up. Hi guys. So I found this in my news feed. <clears throat> Excuse me. I found this in my news feed this morning. And um, if you're keeping up with the news on what's going on between Iran and the U.S., most likely you know most of this. But I wanted to share it with you anyways because it's a sign of the times and what's to come. And I feel this is a good summary to confirm what we see happening um, soon, uh, this coming war between Iran and the United States, um, um, uh, dragging other allies into it as well, becoming a type of World War III. Um, so we know that um, America is Mystery Babylon and that they will be destroyed in one day and one hour. Their, at least their plagues will come in one day and one hour, which will surmount to their total destruction um, eventually. So I feel this article is a good summary of what I was shown, not just scripture, but also um, one of my dreams, which I shared a while back, where I seen bombs dropping on a map of both the United States and Iran, but particularly the United States was um, hit very, very hard with these um, nuclear bombs. And at that time, um, I seen, um, us being caught up, which is like a, an elect group being caught up from experiencing this judgment. And so I was caught up beside Jesus and I was standing with him on the clouds, looking down, um, on the world and seeing, watching these, basically watching these nuclear bombs going off. And there was only a few thousand people with me as far as I could tell. And we all had this, um, image of Jesus on our face. So it was like a supernatural image of his face on top of our face. And so that confirmed the scripture that, um, that we are supposed to let the Holy Spirit conform us into the image of Christ. Um, so those were the people that were protected from this judgment. Those were the only people cause all of them had the image of Christ. Um, so, um, quench not the spirit and allow yourselves to be shaped by the spirit of God and our Lord Jesus Christ. And so I just wanted to read this out to you because again, my dreams lately, um, have been pointing my last dream. One of my last dreams, I, latest dreams I posted also, uh, point to, um, the destruction of the harlot, the mystery Babylon, right? And that it could happen any second. It's being held back by the Holy Spirit. Um, so this is something that's going to break loose at the right time, but every second and every moment we have now is out of mercy for the Lord to bring in this one lost sheep. Um, so I encourage you, um, to seek the Lord's face and not just to profess him with your lips, but truly, if you believe in your heart, who he is and what he did for you, um, then it will be come a process of sanctification for you by the power of the Holy Spirit alone. And it will, the Holy Spirit will bring you to full salvation through further repentance and baptism. Okay, so um, be baptized every one of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ unto the remission of your sins and you will be given the gift of the Holy Spirit. And that's what you need. 
Okay, but the only people who were taken or spared um, or raptured or protected at this time of the bombing were those who had the image of Christ, who were already conformed into the image of Christ. So I want you to be aware of that. Um, so I'm going to read this to you. <clears throat> and um, I think it it's confirmation of this and what's to soon come. So rabbis find grim predictions of U.S. Iranian showdown in old apocalyptic prophecy. <clears throat> Tensions between Iran and the U.S. have escalated since Donald Trump took office in the White House. The Trump administration has pulled out from the Iran nuclear deal, reimposed sanctions on Tehran, Tehran listed the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps uh, IRGC as a terrorist organization and deployed extra military forces to the region. Rabbi Winston has discovered that an 800 year old collection of biblical texts titled Yalkut Shimani, uh, Yalkut Shimani about a conflict that could destroy the entire world in similar to the ongoing standoff between Iran on the one side and the U.S., Israel, and Saudi Arabia on the other. And so we see this is also how the Psalm 83 war will get kicked off. He told Breaking Israel News that there are ancient conflicts coming full circle and pointed out that the notion of Iran being the arch enemy of Israel and U.S. and the U.S. was unimaginable just several decades ago. So the corresponding prophecies confused people. It is only recently that Yalkut Shimani's description of Persia as an enemy of the world is relevant. Hmm. So we know that the Antichrist is labeled the Assyrian, right? So, you know, the, he's going to basically lead this Islamic-based um, world religion. <clears throat> he explained, noting several of the prophecies do speak about Iran or Persia being a major player in in the end of days, but on the wrong side of the line. Right now, we are getting occasional sightings of what will be a very big thing. He warned that the enemy is going to have friends on the inside in the end times. That's very interesting. So remember, America has been prophesied to be destroyed from within. So this is what's happening now. And this is why, uh, you know, the immigration laws since Obama have been, you know, um, have increased and been so lax. Um, and it's been recorded in many news media investigations, uh, you know, alternative news media investigations that, in fact, it's just a bunch of young, um, war-able-bodied men for the most part, being immigrated. So, very strange indeed. So, a lot of people are, are um, speculating, could it be sleeper cells? And, you know, um, what is to come of this, um, the effect of this? So, he warned that the enemy is going to have friends on the inside in the end times. The rabbi pointed to the mixed multitude or Erev Rav in Hebrew, and its major destructive role in the exodus from Egypt, predicting that the final redemption would mirror it. So this is talking about the times of uh, Moses when he delivered the people of Israel, the Israelites, uh, from Pharaoh, and they had the big exodus, and then again they had the plagues and um, the the darkness, he also had to do the days of darkness to redeem his people. 
uh, with God's mighty hand. And um, the mixed multitude that came, it was said in the Bible that the mixed multitude came out of um, Egypt with the Hebrews. And so the mixed multitude is actually Egyptian. So these are these are people who are not God's people. They're unsaved. So it's pointing of a shadow of pattern. And that basically it was the influence um, and assistance of these people that um, that that um, set up the um, the opportunity, basically, it, that it gave sway and and presence and um, um, to help basically usher in the golden calf which was idol worship so that's that that's when god um basically you know after moses gave the 10 commandments he seen the golden calf and people worshiping and then thousands of people died um at the anger of the lord because of it and so this is the judgment that the lord is bringing on his people. So it's saying that the rabbi is actually interestingly pointing it up that this is the same pattern that's going to happen to America because they have um, in, basically in, endeavored in, to idol worship due to this mixed multitude of people who they're cohabiting with or have allowed to cohabit with them. Okay, so very interesting. Rabbi Ken Spiro from Aish Hatora Yeshiva echoed his colleague's stance regarding this prophecy. In the end of day scenario, there are two parallel tracks for Gog and Magog, the world united against Israel and another in which Ishmael, Islam, and Esau, the West, fight each other. I always wondered how it could be both, and now I realize that that is really what is going on today, he said, explaining the link between current events in the Middle East and the old text to breaking Israel. Okay, so we know, just, just to state to clarify, I've been shown many, many times um, in many dreams confirming that Obama is the uh, Assyrian and that he is the Antichrist. And um, also, if you remember a while back, if you've heard the prophecy from the Jewish boy who died, Nathan, Nathan um, he also stated when he was dead, he was revealed many things and about the war to come and Messiah to come. And... Um, he also said that Gog was Obama. So everything is fitting into pieces. So again, take that to the Lord in prayer and study to show yourself approved. The Yalkut Shimini comprises biblical scriptures and allegedly dates back to the 13th century, according to Rabbi Yitzchak, cited by the outlet it mentions the revelation of the Messiah king and nations provoking each other, namely the king of Persia fighting the king of Arabia who goes to Edom, the west. He noted that in this prophecy, the king of Persia will destroy the entire world. Okay, so this is what Obama has set us up for. Um, so it's just um, basically... A ticking time bomb from then, from his his term, okay, from his presidency. So again, being destroyed from within. Earlier, Rabbi Mendel Kesson described Trump's victory in the presidential election as a revealed miracle, and referred to him as the fixer of the West, Tikkun of Esau. Esau, very interesting. But, you know, we know that that was only for a time in a season. And in fact, Trump has become part of that golden calf reverence, that golden calf idol. Um, so we are to worship God and no man. 
So he's only here for a time to carry us in between to the, um, uh, like a pause button again, um, before God pours out his judgments and judges the harlot, which is going to happen very, very soon. And that's what the Lord is showing us here. Um, not just from dreams and visions we are seeing and that I've seen and been given, but also, you know, the facts. I mean, look at the articles like this, the real world events that are happening and other, uh, and other biblical finds. So, okay, tensions between Iran and the U.S. reached a new level after Washington listed the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, as a terrorist organization earlier this year, with Iran doing the same to the U.S. Central Command. Later on, U.S. Na National Security Advisor John Bolton announced that the U.S. was deploying the USS Abraham Lincoln Carrier Strike Group and a bomber task force near Iran in a move to send a clear and unmistakable message to the Iranian regime that any attack on the U.S. interests or on those of our allies will be met with unrelenting force. So again, this points to my dream that I shared a confirmation with you guys recently in one of my latest videos about um, this warship, the USS Abraham Lincoln uh, Carrier Strike Group being sent over and that it was signaling that the time of destruction was nigh and that even though if this results in some people saying peace and safety, the security that uh, America feels from this move or after this move, if it happens, is very short term and it's going to bring on immediate sudden destruction, um, complete destruction uh, and America's judgment and Babylon, the mystery whore, will be, um, uh, will be uh, destroyed and given her plagues and God will remember her sins. And so this is what's at hand now and could happen indeed at any moment henceforth. Um, so again, what's interesting is I've had dreams of being on a bus and being, it was a rapture bus and I seen Abraham Lincoln driving the bus and I said to him, how do you feel now that Israel had, has turned 70? So that, that literally happened. I had this dream last year, right after Israel had turned 70 years old, um, um, and we were in the 70th year and now we're, um, now we're in the 71st year. Okay. So very interesting. And I feel like this is pointing to possibly another confirmation of this, um, prophetic timeline that now we're so close because the Abraham Lincoln, the strike group was called the Abraham Lincoln carrier. Um, the USS Abraham Lincoln. So again, I feel that's another confirmation that this is nigh at hand and the destruction of ba uh, mystery Babylon is nigh at hand, but also our redemption is nigh at hand. But, um, you know, again, only for those who are wise as in who have, um, allowed the Holy spirit to conform them into the image of Christ. So be mindful brothers and sisters, please. The showdown was further exasper, uh, exa exacerbated over the weekend as four oil tankers, two Saudi, one Emirate, Emirati, um, and one Norwegian off the coast of the Fujairha in the United Arab Emirates on Sunday suffered what the UAE foreign ministry called sabotage operations. Explosions blew five to 10 feet holes in each ship near or just below the waterline. A U.S. military team said American officials suspected that Iranian or Iranian backed proxies were behind the attack. However, Tehran has admittedly denied involvement, calling the incident 
worrisome, and dreadful. Okay, and I think that's the end of the article. So very interesting indeed. I see this as a summary of confirmation for us. And so that's why I wanted to bring it to you, especially I seen my, you know, dreams and visions really coming, coming now for, to full circle about the times of um, the destruction of Babylon and our deliverance. So we know that there was an exodus and there will be another greater exodus of the Lord's people, but not for his blood seed, not for the physical seed of uh, Abraham, but for the spiritual seed of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so I assure you guys to seek the Lord and that now is the time to be born again of the Holy Spirit. Um, so I also um, will post a link uh, I guess another link say, um, and this pastor is a very anointed pastor born again of the Holy Spirit and so he makes a clear um, a clear study and basically um, Holy Spirit's sermon filled sermon on what it looks like to be born again and basically in a sense asking you um, you know are you born again? So he goes ahead and he um, helps debunk that there are at least half of the church, which is 50%, which we see in scripture, the five wise and the five foolish, that these foolish are believing in vain that they have the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ. But in fact, they have only an image of uh, godliness and that they deny the power thereof. So they don't have, um, saving faith in Jesus. Okay. And so this is very crucial and important to examine ourselves at these, this time to make sure that we are indeed, um, born again of the Holy spirit. So I'm going to post a video on that next. And I encourage you to watch that. I encourage all my subscribers to watch that. Um, because it's something that we need to all be sure of and um, to have proper uh, biblical perspective on again. So it's not what man says, but it's what the word of God says, shows and proves. Okay. So um, I also received um, in the middle of the night, just randomly a verse, <laughs> the Lord, um, his Holy Spirit shared a verse in, with me that I, I guess I need to share that confirms also uh, these things, the state of the church uh, as, as, as in relation to the five wise and five foolish about examining your salvation. So I'm going to show you that. Um, this is what I got, guys. Uh, Ephesians 5, 6. So it says, follow God's example. Therefore, as dearly loved children and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as the fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But among you, there must not be even a hint of sexual immorality or of any kind of impurity or of greed, because these are improper for God's holy people, nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. For of this you can be sure, no immoral, impure, or greedy person, such as a person is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of such things God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore, do not be partners with them, for you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth, and find out what pleases the Lord. 
have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes light. This is why it is said, Wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Be very careful, then, how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery debauchery instead be filled with the holy spirit speaking to one another with psalms hymns and songs from the spirit sing and make music from your heart to the lord the lord is seeking those who will worship in him in spirit and in truth that's what god wants always giving thanks to god the father for everything in the name of our lord jesus christ